So it's been an interesting day, nonetheless. Um, I have been bugging the Champaign County Fair to say, look, if you're canceled, you need to admit it to the people. I had contacted our governor. I had contacted the Beach Boys. I had contacted the fair. And I had contacted the Beach Boys twice. Didn't hear anything at all from them. Uh, my mom was really excited to go see them, so I, she's heartbroken over the news that, yes, today, in fact, they did cancel, which I could have told you about a week ago when it didn't show up on the events. Honestly, now think on this really hard. You know, they say God's always showing people the way. Don't you think COVID was a way for them to show not only Bagel Fest, but the Champaign County Fair, hey, you're going the wrong way. I do. I don't think that we should have had rock on either one of those platforms. It's always been country. It should have not changed. We could have had great artists. We could have had Lee Bryce. We could have had Easton Corbin, Chris Young, just to name a few of wonderful artists that we could have had. Just saying. So the state fair in Illinois has yet to be canceled. And Chris Young is scheduled to perform in my birthday month. Just saying. Anyway, um, and would I milk a cow? Somebody asked me that. I would milk a cow in order to meet Chris Young. Just saying. I also would milk a cow for the fun of it, though, because I think it would be fun. But anyway, just saying that. Uh, not like anybody's going to take me up on that offer. Anyway, um, what was I getting ready to say? Oh, um, the microwave quit today. Just... I went to go use it for breakfast and all of a sudden it wouldn't even cook oatmeal. So here I am like, what am I going to do? So I had a banana for breakfast, a banana. I had chicken and star soup for lunch, um, but I was in such a hurry I couldn't eat it all so I had to share it with my dumplings outdoors and they got chicken and star soup and um, tomorrow we're supposed to go microwave shopping. That ought to be a joy. And uh, just, I am get to see my work mom tomorrow, so I'm really happy about that. I made some, pardon me, on blueberry muffins. I'm fighting being tired, can you tell? And I wanted to come with on here tonight and, and do a book review for you all. So, we're going to get to that in a minute. But it's really important that I nail this point home, okay? Grandpa is turning 97. I am trying to no notify everybody that I can think of that either he uses for business, we shop at, we go eat at, that, that kind of thing. That way that they all know his birthday is coming and if nothing else, send a card. I will say there is a major surprise coming that he doesn't know about yet. And thank God I've got the mail that one day that I did because they addressed it right to him and put happy birthday on the front. So, I can't wait to share that with you, which that will probably be coming up in the near future. And uh, for you, all you have to do is get a card, address it, Mr. Wayne McDowell at 901 South 15th Street, Mattoon, Illinois, M-A-T-T-O-O-N, Illinois, I-L, and the zip code 61938. Please, thank you, and get it in the mail before June 23rd. Greatly appreciated. Okay, next up, book review. You don't want to miss it. And I did want a memorandum first. I don't know if I did this or not. Um, it's been a long week. Uh, Jimmy Caps, he played on the Country's Family Reunion. He pay, played on um, Larry's Country Diner, the Opry, with several different stars. Uh, he passed, and our thoughts and prayers are with not only him and his wife that was on the Larry's Country Diner and all of his family, and but his fans as well. And also, um, thoughts and prayers are going out to everyone. It's just, a, it's he was such a great musician, such a great big loss. He, he was just so talented. Anyway, um, next up, the book review. 